image, first of all, it's really gorgeous, yeah. and it's teeming with galaxies. And that's something that has been true for every image we've gotten with Webb. Far beyond the quiet orbit of the moon, nestled in the distant L2 Lagrange point, the James Webb Space Telescope has once again turned its golden mirrors toward the deep cosmos. And this time, it has captured something truly unimaginable. As its infrared sensors pierce through the dense veils of cosmic dust, the telescope locked onto an object that defies all known astrophysical models. This discovery, silent in its transmission yet deafening in its implications, has left astronomers and physicists in stunned awe. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. At first, the signal seemed like noise, an anomaly tucked in the data stream. But as the web's instruments repeatedly swept the same region of space, a pattern emerged. This wasn't just another exoplanet or a distant galaxy. The light signature it captured came from a structure so ancient and alien that its very existence challenges the foundational principles of our understanding of the universe. Hovering at the very edge of the observable cosmos, the telescope detected an object radiating in a way that suggests it predates the reionization era, the cosmic dawn when the first stars ignited and the universe transitioned from darkness to light. This object, positioned more than 13.5 billion light years away, appears to be emitting light from a time when the universe was less than 200 million years old. The issue is not merely the age, but the intensity and composition of the light. The energy signature is not consistent with that of a galaxy or quasar, nor does it resemble the birth pangs of the first stars. Instead, the web detected what can only be described as an organized energy pattern, one that repeats at intervals with remarkable precision. Such regularity is not something typically found in naturally occurring phenomena at such extreme distances. Even more startling is the spectral fingerprint of the emissions. Normally, light from such a distance would be redshifted to the extreme due to the expansion of the universe, stretching visible light into the far infrared. However, this object displayed fluctuations across multiple bands, including unexpected bursts in the mid-infrared range. It was as though something was actively compensating for the redshift, suggesting not a passive emission of energy but a deliberate modulation of light, as if engineered or amplified by a process unlike anything seen before. This detection hints at possibilities that border on the edge of current science and edge into the realm of the unknown. The structure appears too massive, too complex, and too coherent to be a product of random cosmic formation. It spans a region nearly 300,000 light years across, far larger than the Milky Way, and yet its light is synchronized across vast distances, suggesting a kind of unity in structure and behavior. If natural, it could mean that our understanding of the timeline of cosmic evolution is deeply flawed. If not, then we may be looking at the first sign of intelligence older than our own civilization, operating on a scale that makes even our most advanced concepts of space engineering seem primitive. The implications extend beyond astronomy. If this is a natural object, it forces a recalibration of the standard model of cosmology. Such an entity existing at the very infancy of the universe and emitting light in a controlled manner implies that matter and energy could organize far earlier and more efficiently than previously thought. This could mean that conditions for complexity, perhaps even life, were present not billions of years after the Big Bang, but within the first few hundred million years. It redefines what early universe means and shifts the goalposts for the search for life and structure across space. One of the more controversial implications arises from the way the energy is dispersed. Unlike the chaotic energy bursts seen in gamma-ray emissions or supernovae, this object radiates in a pulsing sequence, almost musical in rhythm. The intervals between bursts are so mathematically consistent that some researchers have begun to model them using harmonic wave functions, discovering ratios that mirror the fundamental constants of physics. This has led to intense speculation. Could this be a communication signal, not a message in the sense of language, but a kind of cosmic beacon announcing the presence of an intelligence that manipulates the very building blocks of the cosmos? Physicists are divided. Some argue for a new class of astronomical object, 
something akin to a hypermassive structured energy lattice born in the turbulent physics of the Big Bang. Others are toying with the unsettling notion that this could be an artificial construct, a Dyson-like megastructure engineered to manipulate or harvest energy on a galactic scale. If so, it would not merely be a technological marvel. It would represent a civilization operating at a Type 3 level on the Kardashev scale, a civilization that harnesses the energy of an entire galaxy. Further deepening the mystery is the object's gravitational footprint. The Webb telescope, while not equipped to directly detect gravity, enables indirect assessments through lensing effects. The surrounding light of other background objects bends subtly in the vicinity of the anomaly, revealing a gravitational influence vastly disproportionate to its apparent mass. This discrepancy suggests the presence of exotic matter, or perhaps a manipulation of gravity itself. It recalls theoretical constructs like negative mass or dark energy manipulation, concepts long confined to speculative physics but never observed in reality, until now. Astrophysicists have run simulations to determine how such an object could form naturally none have succeeded. The laws of physics as currently understood do not allow for such an object to exist under the timeline and conditions inferred from the Webb's data. The question is no longer whether the object exists, the data is irrefutable, but what it is and how it came to be. Could it be a remnant of a previous universe? A fossil from a cycle of cosmic rebirths? Could it be a probe left behind by something or someone who anticipated the rise of intelligent life in the distant future? Every aspect of this discovery brims with questions that stretch the human imagination. The idea that the James Webb Space Telescope, a product of decades of scientific ambition and precision engineering, has glimpsed something so far beyond our theoretical framework is as exhilarating as it is terrifying. We are no longer confronting the edge of the observable universe. We are staring into the unknown, a region of space where something old, something vast, and something impossibly advanced resides. If the object is artificial, it changes everything, not just about our place in the universe, but about the nature of reality itself. The existence of such a structure would mean that intelligence arose somewhere else long before Earth even formed. It would suggest that advanced civilizations do not merely die out or remain planet-bound but transcend their stars and reach into the fabric of space-time itself. It would mean that the universe has architects. The detection has led to a cascade of observations across multiple observatories on Earth and in orbit. Spectrometers, radio telescopes, and gravitational wave detectors have all been redirected in hopes of catching an echo, a secondary signature, or any complementary data that could help identify the nature of this structure. Yet so far, only the web has captured it clearly. Its uniquely tuned instruments, optimized for deep infrared, seem singularly capable of revealing this anomaly. This has raised an eerie possibility, that the structure or signal is tuned specifically to be seen by a certain kind of observation technology, one that only a spacefaring, infrared-optimized telescope could detect. The idea of a message encoded in the medium of detection itself is profoundly unsettling. It implies not just intelligence but foresight, an awareness of our trajectory as a civilization, and perhaps even an invitation to look closer. There is a sense, unspoken yet deeply felt among the scientific community, that the web wasn't just lucky in finding this. It may have been inevitable, that the telescope was, in some metaphysical way, always meant to find it. Even without confirmation of artificiality, the implications are earth-shattering. If this is a natural structure, then it is evidence that the universe builds complexity in ways we have never considered. It means the cosmos is not a slow-burning forge of stars and galaxies, but a far more dynamic, creative entity capable of organizing matter into coherent, perhaps sentient, patterns far earlier than we believe possible. It means that the universe is stranger, more fertile, and more alive than any theory has yet captured. Astronomers are already developing new missions to study this anomaly in greater detail. Proposals for next-generation telescopes, gravitational observatories, and deep space probes have taken on a new urgency. The discovery has reawakened a profound curiosity, 
not only among scientists but across all of humanity. For the first time in living memory, we are not just speculating about the possibility of others, we are potentially seeing their work. The web has lifted a veil on a part of the cosmos so ancient and alien that its light has traveled for nearly the entire age of the universe just to reach us. In that light is a story we do not yet understand, a puzzle written in infrared, encoded across millions of years and billions of miles. It whispers of forces older than stars, of minds larger than galaxies, of a cosmos that thinks and dreams in patterns we are only just beginning to perceive. The unimaginable has been detected, not in the sudden flash of a supernova or the tremor of colliding black holes, but in a quiet, consistent hum of impossible structure. It is a discovery that calls not just for more science, but for a re-evaluation of what it means to observe, to know, and to exist in a universe far older and more complex than we dare to imagine.